Welcome to the Analog Procedure Instructional Video for Trilor, a high-performance polymer. Trilor, the Analog Bar Fabrication Procedures. This instructional video will make use of Trilor as a substructure for all on X cases. In this instance, the patient is wearing a temporary restoration. A temporary restoration can aid in the evaluation of occlusion and restorative space. A matrix may be made over the temporary arch on the model or even a previous try-in in order to evaluate the restorative space. In order to prepare properly for the fabrication of the substructure, screw down the abutments and evaluate their heights with the use of the putty matrix. Once the height of the substructure has been determined, you may cut down the abutments as necessary. We are now ready to open up the Trilor arch set. Within this arch set, there are three different thicknesses for different types of substructures. Choose the desired thickness for the substructure. The substructure thickness desired here is a 3.5 millimeter. Next, take a sheet of hard base plate wax and press it down on top of the abutments. This will help in locating the abutment position on the Trilor substructure. Be sure to create holes in your base plate wax. Once the holes have been marked on the base plate wax, use the base plate wax to position the holes on the Trilor bar as desired. Using a number eight round burr, create pilot holes where the holes have been marked using the base plate wax. It should be noted that guidelines suggest a minimum thickness of 3.5 millimeters for any trilore substructure. Check the pilot hole positions and open those holes accordingly with a tapered carbide burr. Once the holes are positioned correctly, even checking the bar for strength, the trilor still holds up. Following AP spread guidelines, measure and cut any extensions. Before cementing the trilor substructure to the titanium abutments, be sure to sandblast the titanium abutments and the trilor at two bars pressure. Treat the abutments with metal primer as well. It is also good practice to block the access holes to prevent cementation of the screw heads. Using resin cement, connect the abutments to the trilor bar. Follow the cement manufacturer instructions. Once the cementation process is complete, you may shape and finish the trilor bar as necessary. Use the matrix to guide you in the overall contours 
of the bar substructure. Upon completion, the wraparound design should be lifted off the tissue and the minimum suggested thickness should be achieved throughout the trilor bar substructure. Next, using the matrix, you can create a wax pattern of the temporary restoration to aid in the setting of teeth, or even to use as a plug-in for the denture teeth of a previous setup. At this time, you may set teeth and wax as desired. The case is now ready for trying. Trilor, the analog processing procedures. At this stage of the process, the wax trion has been approved and the arch has been finally waxed. This arch has a trilor substructure within it and it is ready to be processed. When processing these types of cases, it is important not to process on the master cast. So here we will screw on analogs and create a processing model within the first half of the flask. To ensure a smooth intaglio on deflasking, you may use lab putty to capture these surfaces. When using lab putty, be sure the retentive portions of the analogs are still exposed. When performing the first half of the flasking, use dye stone. This will simultaneously create a processing model and perform as the first half flasking procedure. When performing this step, be sure to not let the arch sink past the lab putty. This will affect the aesthetics upon deflasking. After this step, using lab putty can reduce the finishing time and capture the details of your wax up. You may use this procedure and flask as usual. Boiling out is also done as usual. Once the case has been boiled out, before the standard procedures for packing, you want to make sure that the arch is fully seated onto the analogs, and then cover the access holes and the head of the screws with lab putty. This may also be done with Teflon tape. Since Trilor is a high performance polymer, no bonding agent is necessary. You may pack as usual in regards to other hybrid cases. You may use standard techniques for hybrid restorations for deflasking and finishing. This case called for composite aesthetics on the facial surfaces.